The biggest enemy of the honeybee is the Varroa mite. This mite entered into North America um, in Florida, and it took about 10 years to spread across all of the United States and then up into Canada as well. It originates from Asia. What this mite does is it climbs into the honeycomb cell where a larva is developing and it works like a tick on a dog. It latches onto the larva and it sucks the blood, which is called hemolyph in a honeybee, and it sucks on the blood and then it also lays eggs while it's in there. And of course, the cell is capped so that the varroa mite has this larva captive and feeds off it and so does her babies when she lays her babies. So they cause damage to the developing body of the honeybee. And you can see from some of these photos that a lot of the bees are born with deformed wings and crooked bodies. The wings get damaged because the varroa mite will suck on the muscles where the wings are developing, and that's what destroys them. And, of course, those bees will never fly, and they won't live more than a couple of days. In countries like Russia and Asia, where the mite has been for a very long time, the honeybees have learned how to deal with the mites by biting on them and grooming themselves and being what we call uh, sensitive hygienic so that they keep everything very clean and they actually will hunt out these mites and look for them. Sometimes they'll even open up a cap cell to, um, to release the mite that's inside and kill it. There are chemical and natural treatments that beekeepers can put into the hive that works almost like um, chemotherapy where it tries to kill the one insect that's in the hive and that's the varroa mite but not kill the other insect which is the bee. So there are some actions that can be taken by the beekeeper as well. Really what is needed is for our bees in North America to learn to kill these mites themselves, to learn that they exist and that they're the problem. And that's going to take time.